Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, the incredibly talented Ingrid Michelson, Atlantic Theater Gala. You're performing here tonight, Mary Steenburgen was telling me. Yes, I am. Where is she? She's right next to you. Oh! <laughs> The truth is, oh my gosh, she's singing. She was singing your praises. <laughs> she was singing your praises. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. I'm so it's a excited. beautiful song. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited. I was just belting it out in the bathroom upstairs in my room, so. Is that your rehearsal process? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, I've never, said, I've never sung the song before, so um, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy that they asked me, and I love being part of this world, and sang here last year at their other, at the gala last year, and so, yeah, I'm just really excited and happy and thankful. I'm a little nervous, and it's gonna be awesome. How does the connection with Atlantic Theater happen for you? Um, Neil and I met a few uh, years ago, and we've just sort of been in a perpetual conversation about the possibility of me writing a musical. So, yeah, it's been a long, a long conversation that is ongoing. So, I think one day something will happen. I just have to have some time to do it, that's all. You're always so busy. What's on your plate right now and what's next? I'm recording my record, which is coming out in the fall, and I have a single that's coming out in May, and so all of the stuff that comes with that, traveling, recording, uh, picking the songs, music videos, everything from, I'm in charge of a lot because I own my own label, so everything from like t-shirt designs to mixing the record I'm involved with, so it's a bit uh, time consuming, but I'm a control freak, so it's at the same time very rewarding. So, is that more difficult when you actually have to run your own indie label? Yeah, I, I, the control is it make it more difficult from a growth perspective, or do you find freedom around it? I think both. Uh, you don't have the muscle of millions and millions of dollars like some people might, but the freedom is invaluable to me. I don't have anybody telling me what I have to look like or what I wear or how my music sounds or what I have to write about. It's all what I want to do, and so everything's on my terms, which is how I wouldn't have it any other way. We're just coming off the Grammys, and there was such a pivotal moment with Taylor Swift winning Record of the Year oh, and, giving, yeah. and giving such an incredible female empowerment speech. What are your thoughts on just the uh, Taylor Swift and what people like her and you have been able to do in the industry in terms of strengthening well, female? Well, she's done a little bit more than me. <laughs> yeah, she was. She just was. She had a lot. Um, she's very sweet girl. I've met her. We've hung out a few times. Um, she is what you think she is. Very normal. Very kind. And I love her stance. I love how you know over the past couple of years she's really come through as a strong uh, female for young women to look up to. Um, I grew up. My mother was the was the stronger one of of my parents. I grew up in a in a feminist household without really knowing that I was one. So. I love I love where the world is going right now. I think lots of doors are opening for lots of people, and and yeah, she's just. She, it's, I like that she's using her power for good. You know, she's got a lot of power. On the other end of the spectrum, the story that's been dominating the headlines is obviously Kesha. Have you ever, maybe not personally, but there's there's another side to the music industry that a lot of people don't know. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that other side, the dark side of it? I fortunately have never experienced anything like that. I think because I'm not part of a big, you know, label. yeah, I, I, not to say that every big label has these, these problems, but I mean, we still live in a very misogynistic society and it's the, there's this type of situation across all types of occupations, not just music, but um, it's, it's difficult. It's a difficult thing. I, I don't know the story. I don't know the facts. I feel like, at the very least, people should be able to make the music they want to make. And if somebody is doing what she says they're doing to her, she should get out. I don't know why it's... I don't know. I don't know what the story is. I don't know what the facts are. But I feel for this poor woman that she can't make music. I mean, that seems like... It, I just don't understand. It, I don't understand. It kind of perplexes me that it's been going on for so long. Um, I hope she finds peace. I hope that the verdict comes in her favor and she can get out and be free. Because that's what that's what if I couldn't make that's what music musicians do. They have to make music, and she's been basically like gagged. Um, so it's really it's really sad and really overwhelming. And I, I I haven't absorbed all of it. I'm trying to understand 
but it's I can't. I've never been in that situation, so it's very difficult.